I've got a cold for about the last two weeks. Caught it from Christmas. And uh, we're gonna work through today with the cold. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oob. This is your first time on my channel. Welcome. Today I am making a video on pregnancy essentials. If you don't know, I am currently seven to eight months pregnant. I am in my third trimester, so I have had about seven to eight months of uh, really figuring this out. And so I don't have a lot. I've got about 12 items that I've been using. If you want to know what they are, keep on watching. First up, with pregnancy, we all know about the whole uh, stretch marks situation. There's not really a proven remedy that helps with stretch marks, but I went ahead and bought this body oil. It's um, the natural kind. <laughs> the one that I have in here is not the natural kind. I wanted to just try them both out and I ordered the one that wasn't natural. The smell's a little bit different. The color is a little bit darker. I do prefer the natural one. So once this is all used up, I'm gonna go back to the uh, natural one. It basically advertised that it helps improve the appearance of scars and and stretch marks. There is a lot of claims on this bottle. It also says it helps to improve the appearance of uneven skin tone and it also helps smooth and tone the appearance of aging skin on both your face and your body. And basically what I do every night is I lather this on. When I am done and I'm out of the shower, I pretty much just put all of this on. I look like a greased up chicken when I'm about to go to bed. I mix, it's probably about Mm, two thirds oil and then one third um, lotion. The lotion helps the oil spread out a lot better so that I'm able to really get it across my body and then I just give it time to absorb into my skin. I'm out of this lotion. This is how much I've used and I've gone through maybe two to three bottles of this already, so this is probably my fourth bottle. I have stretch marks, so it didn't take away stretch marks, and there is no, again, no proven remedy that takes away stretch marks. What this has really helped me with is to hydrate my skin so that I don't have itchy, cracked skin, because with pregnancy, so much of the body is expanding. The breast, the chest, the stomach, the hips, the thighs, just everywhere is expanding skin. And so if you are not moisturizing correctly, there is gonna be a lot of itchy skin patches, there's gonna be a lot of just flaky skin, especially in the winter time. I have the fortune of having my pregnancy during the very cold winter season, and so, this has been my very best friend. This is, would be my number one recommendation. The second item that I have been using so much is my Naywai bras. I have purchased so many of these. I have two, I think I have five to six of these. I just wanted to show you that they are what I've been using every single day <laughs> during my pregnancy. And the reason why is obvious. My breasts shape and size is just changing. And so at first, my first trimester, I could feel heaviness and whenever I went to sleep and whenever I got up, it felt like I was having my period and my chest was really painful. And so I just needed to wear something that felt like skin when I went to sleep so it would give it just a little bit of support. And for reference, I was a 32D before pregnancy so I just really needed something that was a supportive for bedtime and then during the daytime, I want it to be in the most comfortable clothing that I could possibly be in and especially with my chest size changing, I wanted a bra that would accommodate that as well and this felt like skin. And so let me just, let me just show you this amazing bra. It looks like this and they come with removable pads inside here. But basically the thing that I love about these bras is that they are so stretchy. I love that there aren't, that the straps are thicker, so they're able to hold up my girls, and the construction of these bras, they don't have any weird seams that are uncomfortable, so I can sleep in these, they feel like skin, and all day long I'm wearing these. The quality is starting to disintegrate a little bit, but it's also because I wasn't hand washing these. I was putting them in a wash in a laundry bag and then just putting them in the wash and hanging them up to dry. I think I may have just had something weird in my wash bag because there's a lot of weird lint. But here's the thing is that if you are looking to get this lint out, I just take a little razor like so and I just scrape it off like this. So, that is how I get the lint off. I'm not too worried. The 
fabric. Once I do that, it's still soft. It's still amazing. I also have the underwear that go with these. So they look like this. I got the briefs. These are the grandma briefs. Are they as good as the bras? They're okay. I would rate them, um, hmm. The bras, I rate uh, 8.5 out of 10. That's already me being very generous. These I would rate maybe a 5.56 out of 10. They're very comfortable, don't get me wrong. I just, they just are a little bit tight and they will sometimes give me a wedgie. So that is the only con, but I am very picky. I just wanna say I am very picky as far as underwear goes and just anything that has to do with comfort. So do I love them and do I pair them together to have to take my pregnancy pictures? I sure do, they look so cute. And do I wear them sometimes to just feel snazzy so it doesn't look like I'm wearing granny panties and like weird um, nursing bras? I sure do and I look really cute. So if you're looking for a cute matching set that is comfortable and supports you through your pregnancy, look no further. We are gonna get up close and personal. These are pregnancy essentials. So I'm gonna be real with you ladies and men and whoever is watching down in the belly region once my stomach started growing and I couldn't see down there. So basically what I do to maintain is I just pluck my pubic hair. I don't do anything else because my hair doesn't grow out very much. It's just very little tiny and I just pluck them. I, I've never shaved my legs hair. I am just thank the lord that i have very minimal hair so all i do is i just pluck little strays here and there and so with pregnancy that has been <laughs> very hard to do so because my husband and i are getting very intimate in this journey and we are just learning how to do perineal massages that's where uh you partner or yourself you go in and you massage the area between your vagina and the anus, just that skin. It helps so that you you don't have any vaginal tears once you give birth. So we are just heading into that, that phase of our relationship. But what we've already done is that he's been helping me pluck down there, which is so amazing of him. And it's like a very bonding moment for the both of us. And what I have done now, bought an epilator. So I just use this to, go down there and I can't see, but it's great, it's doing the job. And then I also use this on my armpits and I just, that has been a, a dream. It felt more independent, uh, less vulnerable, and just more empowered and empowered. I have felt amazing to have this epilator. This is my best friend. Um, yeah, so we are just, being super real here, ladies, if you are looking for essentials, I mean, that's why we have this video, right? Since we're already talking about the down there region, another item that is my essential is panda liners because as my stomach is expanding and as my pelvic floor is working very, very hard, mind you, I've discovered I have a very weak pelvic floor. So anytime I have coughed, sneezed, or had any kind of uh, violent laughing or just anything, I just, my, urine comes out just a little bit and just a little bit of discharge comes out sometimes just I don't know just pregnancy pregnancy weird stuff I'm telling you so what I've transitioned to using and what I've already been kind of using now is organic panty liners pads in general that are way more healthy for your lady parts the current brand that I'm using is L and what they stand for is L is for love it's so sweet these are chlorine free they are they have no synthetic pesticides, no dyes and no fragrances. It is really amazing. And I'm not gonna go into it much in this video, but if you research all the stuff that are in our feminine products, it is a crime to have all these things in our feminine hygiene products that go so close to our body. And so if you are also being conscious about your health and baby, because there is a mucus plug preventing any kind of bacteria from going up to your child, but you just wanna make sure that that whole region down there is taken care of, it's um, clean, and there aren't any kind of weird bacteria or anything going up there, chemicals. So the panty liners that I use to support me are these super clean ones. With the first trimester, there is a bit of nausea, and some of you may throw up a lot more than others. I didn't throw up as much, but I did have moments when it just projected puke was coming out because I ate something weird. So what I used were these throw up bags. They come in a whole stack. I bought it from Amazon. They were really cheap and affordable and frankly, for how compact they were and how easy they were to just put in my purse and carry it around with me and also put it on my bedside. I had these 
everywhere in my house. I had one on my desk, I had one on my bedside, I had one in my purse, I had some in my car. It just, wherever I felt like I may have an accident, I had these. What you do is just, like this. It's great, it's fantastic. And then, <laughs> and then you just scrunch it up like this. And they even have a little part right here where you can tie it up. And this was a lifesaver. I loved having this bag with me. I just felt cleaner, I felt safe, and so it was great, and they're cheap. So if you are looking for something to help you, vomit my bags. Usually with pregnancy, you start taking some sort of prenatal pill. I went through quite a few. I had a brand that I was using in the US, and then we visited my in-laws in Canada, and I bought a different brand, and essentially, after I took the pills, I would start yeah, like burping them up and they would have a really weird taste or just blah. I, I just hated taking my prenatal pills. And so I saw Ritual. If you guys have seen this, you've seen it advertised all over Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Yeah, it's not a gimmick. I'm not paid to review this at all. It's just, I've been using it and it's freaking amazing because it smells so good. They have this little scent bar inside here smells like lemon. These are cleaner than normal. What I didn't realize was that in prenatal pills, sometimes they put vitamins and ingredients that we don't necessarily need in our prenatal pills. I didn't realize that. And so with Ritual, they really take away any kind of ingredient that is not essential for a prenatal pill. And so they deliver it every single month, I believe. I just turned this on, the notification on, I didn't have to worry about it, it just kept getting delivered to my house and they just taste good because they smell good and they look really pretty on my countertop and I just looked forward to eating these a little bit more. And sometimes I did forget to eat them. <laughs> so what I bought is this pill case and this is organized in days of the week. So it has Monday to Sunday and I just, every time, I used this up, I just refilled it, and I know what day I'm on, and I remember to take my prenatal pills. Because with pregnancy, there is pregnancy brain. That is actually a thing. My husband did not believe me, but it's actually a thing. It's the hormones, and sometimes we forget, and I just, this is the last thing I wanna forget. I just want baby to be healthy, and so, these two paired up has been a lifesaver. Next on the list is water bottles because when you're pregnant, you wanna stay hydrated. Although you pee a lot, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. It is great for the baby, it's great for you, it's great for just everything. So I use a lot of these um, thermos water bottles. I tried Swell. I've had this one for a very long time. And I also had this Takia water bottle, and this is the one where there is actually a straw at the very top, and it's ginormous. Here's 32 ounces, and it's got a little handle, so it's easy to travel with. And then the last one that is the one that I love the most is this one right here. And my mom actually purchased this for me. The brand is Zo Zojirushi. And so let me just go through these three water bottles and why this one is my ultimate favorite. I love this swell bottle, but it just takes me a little bit of extra time to have to, sun. okay, we're gonna get into like a lot of um, just minor details as to why this other bottle is my favorite. And these are, these minor details are so important. I have to screw it like this and then take off the lid and drink it. And so I just find that when I'm doing that, I'm letting a lot more of the steam escape from my hot water. And then I've got to screw it back. It just takes like ugh, a little bit more extra time than I want. And then I tried the straw method because I was lazy. And I realized that I was still too lazy to suck on the straw to get some water. And it was also a hassle to carry this in the car because it didn't fit the cup holder. And I realized it was just a really ginormous bottle to carry around in my purse. If I put this in here, it takes up half the space. And it was really heavy. It looked pretty and it was nice. I it just, in theory, it seemed like it was gonna work really well, but it didn't. I didn't like this very well at all. So then come this water bottle. This is so amazing. Uh, let me tell you. If you do like the screw and drink method, you can do that with this. Although, you know what? That's just to put water in this water bottle. What I love about this is that it has this button right here. You just click it and then the top opens like this. There's a mini little hole so not a lot of steam is escaping. 
when I close it like this, it's so simple. I just, bam, and it opens. And then I just drink water. And then I close it. It's so great. So I'm not having to use a lot of suction like the straw. It's not losing a lot of heat. And I don't have to do the screwing action to take the cap off. That takes a, just a little bit of t extra time. And also it's slim, small, compact. It's great to go in my bag right here. So my mama is a genius and she found a great water bottle and then she gifted this to me. And they also have a lock feature right here. So you can lock it and even if it's in your bag and um, something is pressing up against this button, water will not spill all over your bag. This is fantastic. So the next thing I have to show you is just a pregnancy pillow. Everybody's gotta have a pregnancy pillow. Although some people don't. My sister didn't have one. She just slept with a lot of different cushions and pillows and just allowed herself to cushion herself to sleep. I bought one very early into my pregnancy, probably the second trimester. I call her Sally. She is so amazing. She looks like this. It is just big, ginormous, obnoxious. It sleeps right between me and my husband. It's so sad. It just cuts us both off. But I've just felt like a big old teddy bear hugs me at night. So I'm sure you can get any pregnancy pillow. It, it functions in the same way. I haven't tried different kinds. I'll link the one that I bought down below because it is too big for me to show on camera. It just looks like this. It looks like a human, a big giant leg and just like I'm sleeping on my mom's lap. That's how it feels like. like, like this is her pelvis and I just sleep on her lap every night. It's just overall amazing to feel supported and held when I'm going to sleep with my growing belly and uh, when my organs are being pushed up and I can't really breathe and I need to be supported more upright because now when I go to sleep, I'm sleeping more upright. It's great to have this back support on the pregnancy pillow. I just pretty much stack my pillows on top and I, I sleep, I'm really high up. <laughs> so whenever I'm sleeping, I'm like here, my husband's here, this is his head. He's here and I'm here. Get a pregnancy pillow, it will save your sleep. Next up, I have my pregnancy belt. With a growing belly and just with a lot of expansion, your pelvic floor working really hard, you want some sort of support. This pregnancy belt I felt was the least obnoxious of the ones that I saw. I didn't want something that had so many different straps and contraptions for me to have to fidget around with. I wanted something easy, light, just easy for me to just wrap on. And this did the trick. It is so amazing because the part that I love so much is this cloth part right here. It's really soft and it just wraps around the belly part because it's just made to contour. You have this Velcro in the back and it's just so easy to put on. Here, I will show you a demonstration. This is my belly and I take this part right here and it feels like, it feels like Jesus took his hands and he's giving me a big hug like this. Especially when I am going shopping or I'm gonna be walking for long periods of time, I will bring this with me. When I'm sitting, it's actually not as comfortable because I feel like it's pushing my belly up too high, so I take it off, but then it, it has just one single strap, so it's very easy to take off and on. It's great. Next up in the fitness topic is this Fitbit that I absolutely love. I realized after the first and second trimester that I really wanted to track how many steps I was getting in, especially because I was staying indoors a lot. I wanted to know how many steps I was getting in in order to increase my activity and really start building up my endurance for labor and just to stay fit in general. So I bought this Fitbit and this is the Fitbit Inspire 2 activity tracker. This is the black with lunar white band. It just tracks my sleep as well, which is great so that when I wake up and I'm feeling tired, I can start kind of um, associating whether I had enough sleep, was it good quality of sleep, with how I physically feel. And it's just got the very simple essentials that I would need to have some sort of smartwatch, but it also tracks my fitness and mo most important of all. So, that is the next thing. Now that we're sliding into the fitness topic, I have two uh, essentials that have been really helping me out with my fitness. The first one is this smart scale right here. So what it does is it's tracking. You see these little metal uh, details right here. You put your feet right here and they're tracking your body mass index as well. So your fat to muscle and just water weight. And so it's not just tracking your weight per se. It's tracking a lot more information and it has an app. The app is called Fit Index. And when I click into it, 
it's got one side that says weight and when I step on the scale it will automatically update my weight into the app and then the other tab says circumference so I can click that side and I'm able to update any part of my body measurement that I'm tracking so currently I am uh, tracking my abdomen area so whenever I measure I just update it in the app and I'm able to see how fast my belly is growing I love this um, little nifty just the little stuff that gets you to be connected to your body and aware of your health and uh, to just take care of your body while you're carrying this little baby. The other thing I have is just a, a good old measuring uh, strap tape and this is for me to measure my belly. It's just great to be able to have um, an idea of how much I weigh and how big my belly is expanding so I know if baby is growing in a healthy way. And it's just fun to also have that and so every morning I weigh myself and then I just measure my belly and then I will mark it down. That was the last item on my pregnancy essentials list. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe for more new content from me. Again, my name is Ooh, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.